guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Grania and thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to do a video on lighting. We all have areas in our home that has poor lighting. And if you're a plant enthusiast like I am, it's very sad when you have beautiful plants but you can't hang them in specific areas. So I think I have found a solution for it in my home. So I wanted to share it with you. So initially I started out with pink lights, but really aesthetically they weren't pleasing and really it kind of limited me to the time I could have them on. So I did some research and I found out that 5000 Kelvin light bulbs simulate daylight the best for plants. Now you can get much higher Kelvin, um, I wouldn't, but I wouldn't go any higher say than a 6000 Kelvin. I have found 5000 works perfectly. So I have an older home which has those drywall valances that they used to put curtains behind and everybody is removing them but you know what they're absolutely fantastic for this purpose. So what I have done is I have attached little pot lights all the way underneath. The bulbs are all 5000 Kelvin and I've been able to hang my plants and they have all done very well. I even have a Hoya underneath some. So guys then we come to our regular lamps. You can also install 5,000 Kelvin bulbs in these. You can buy a pack, I actually bought a pack of six. They're 60 watt, 5,000 Kelvin LED bulbs. I think they were about 12 or $13. I am going to put the link, I got them on Amazon, so I'm gonna put the link below. And they work perfectly. I have quite a lot of plants that are actually living from the light from these table lamps. When you see a plant that's low light, don't be dissuaded from buying it because you don't have enough light in your home. You can supplement that light. Now, will they do as well as if they were in natural sunlight? Probably not, but they'll definitely survive and you will be able to get to enjoy them. So as I say, a lot of my plants, in fact, I have some that are doing really, really well underneath the lights. So I'm going to start with what's behind me. So this room is dark, never mind this corner. You can see here behind where I was sitting, I have my, my pothos and my Hartley philodendron and they get light from this lamp I have in the corner. It's like my octopus lamp is what I call it. So here on my dresser, I have a Begonia Maculata, which does very well in low light, but I also have a Philodendron Prince of Orange. Now I've just put this here recently, so I'm not sure how well it's going to do, but I actually think it will be fine because you can see that I have a bulb facing right down on top of it, and um, I've, I've never had problems with these in the past. So over here I have the Network Calathea or Mosaica Calathea I think it's called. It has the most magnificent leaves. So that also has a directional light upon it. Up here I have a fig plant. That does very well in low light. But that also has lights underneath which I'm going to show you now. You can see there I have pot lights, 5000 Kelvin pot lights. They just plug in and I have them on a timer so they are, that's directed on that plant and then here I have a Scindapsis and that's actually growing really well and again there is a pot light. So I have a Scindapsis Silver Anne here and again there's a pot light. Here I have a Hoya Crimson Princess. Now I actually have her between two lights but she's growing great. She's doing very well. So here we're actually in my living room and it's very dark today. What an appropriate day to do this video. But I just want to show you these lights here I got on Amazon. Again, I'll put an affiliated link down below. They are absolutely beautiful. Can you see them there? And they are so practical because they're plug in, which means I can direct them wherever I need them to be. So they, I can lower them as the plant is younger and as it gets older, I'll be able to raise it. So under this light, I have a Rufidophora tetrasperma. So this is an east facing window. So I only get light here in the morning. So you can see under the bay window, I also installed these. I think they're called puck lights actually. But again, I will put an affiliated link below so you will be able to find them on Amazon. So again, here is the second of those lights I showed you earlier and I have a variegated rubber plant underneath that. So these are like, these are so pretty. Once I get them hung up properly, um, they'll actually become a very decorative piece as well to this room. Now we have this section of my room. You can see it's dark. Even on a bright day, this is dark. Probably not as dark as it is today. But those lights there, they take two bulbs, regular table lamps, and I have two 5,000 Kelvin bulbs in them. And it keeps the aglaenomena alive. Well, they're very easy to, they're very good with low light. See my aglaenomena there. And in that corner there, we have an asparagus fern. I'm gonna try and zoom in. I don't know how clear the footage will be, 
but there is an asparagus fern. So the only light really that these get is from this, these lamps. They may get a little bit of sunshine in the morning from the window, but they're quite far away from the window. And here in this corner, I have a Ripsalis. Same thing, the only light it gets is from those lamps. And they've been there, well, they've been there over a year. So they are happy and they're actually growing away. So this is my dining room and I have my Hoyas in here, I have some Calatheas in here. And again, so this would be a southwesterly and it does get some sun, but it's sheltered a lot by the house next door. So it kind of gets like a smattering of sun, but not full sun. So the lamps here, there's two lamps you can see there, they both have 5,000 Kelvin bulbs. And again, I have those spotlights. So, so this is a, a public halic splash and over in the middle is a Kentiana and over there is a Macrophilia. So they are totally dependent really on these lights because they might get a little bit of sunlight from the window, but not a lot because you can see they're not directly, well, the Kentiana's in the window, but the Macrophilia and the public halix are not in the window. So there's my Stromante Trio Star and my Rattlesnake plant, and they again are just getting light from that lamp. So they do very well. So here I have a Philodendron Mycans. You can see again, it gets its light from that spotlight. And if I zoom out, you'll get to see how long it is. And I've actually had to cut this twice, so it's quite happy. In fact, the leaves are getting bigger now because I used to have the spotlight just on top of the counter, but now I have actually Velcroed them to the ceiling over the lights, and I find that that has made a big difference. And here I have a string of hearts, and again, it's getting its light from the spotlight, which is directly over it. Now, I had to cut this the other day because it's actually down to the counter, so it's doing very well. Just zoom in so you can see it. Okay, guys, I also have these lights upstairs, but I think you've seen enough. I don't need to take you into absolutely every room. But I have them in my ensuite. Again, on top of, I have cupboards on the top of my sink in my ensuite, and I have lights there, and I have some shelving. So I also have lights underneath. You, if you've watched my other videos, you will have seen them. My Hoyas, I showed you where I have them underneath little strip lights. So guys, my plants, some of them are like two or three years old. They're doing very well and I'm very happy with them. I did have a bit of a transition when I went from the pink lights to the white lights and my Kentiana didn't like them, but actually the problem was I had it on a really long uh, plant hanger and I think it was just too far away. Had I actually moved it up closer to the white light, it would have done better. So the white lights are not going to be as good as the pink, but they're perfectly fine. There, you know, if you want to have a nice aesthetic in your house and you don't want pink lights, obviously when your guests are coming over, the white light is the best answer. Now these guys are on all day. I have every one of them on a timer. They all come on in the morning around 8 a.m. and they go off at 11 p.m. at night. And I can't say that my hydro bill is escalated from it. It's, it's pretty normal. I haven't really seen a difference. And in the winter, down in my basement, I have tons of grow lights where I keep all my outdoor plants over the winter. And really, my hydro, I don't see that it has escalated. So um, I'm very happy overall with my system. I hope you guys will learn something from it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me below. And if you'd like me to continue with these videos, it would really make a difference if you would give me a thumbs up and if you could subscribe. Okay, guys, you take care. And I'm going to try and venture out now in this horrible rainy day. It's like May, what would it be? It's May 30th, May 30th, May 30th today. And um, we had such beautiful weather and today it's raining. So anyway, it, but the rain is good for the plants. So guys, take care. Thank you so much for joining me.